Okay, so you have studied really hard for your CSNIT exam. You did everything you could do. You studied 10 to 11 hours a day. You sacrificed everything. You sacrificed your sleep, your comfort, everything. And now all this your effort will only pay off if you are able to perform at your peak level in those three hours of the exam. So to help you with that, in this video, I will share how to attempt CSNIT examination in physics in the most effective way. What is the most effective way with which you are able to perform at your peak in those three hours for CSNIT exam? Okay. And also to be very clear, the strategy which I am going to teach you in this video, you don't have to apply that directly in the exam. You will first apply that strategy in mock tests and then you will alter it. You will modify it according to you and you will see what will work best for you okay and apply that modified strategy in that final exam and this is the reason i told you in the previous video that mock tests are really important they help you understand what is your strategy now a really important question is this one which sections to start first this simple decision can make the difference between you clearing CSNIT exam and not clearing CSNIT exam. So the order in which you have to attempt sections is this one. See, first you have to complete section C, then you have to go for section B, and then you have to attempt section A. And now here are the reasons for it. See, section C covers 100 marks, which is half of the total marks. That means this section is really important. Also, the questions from nuclear physics, atomic and molecular physics, questions from easy subject like these comes in section C. Okay, so you first have to attempt those easy questions with which you will score five marks with each question. So your first target is this that you have to complete section C. Don't worry about the timing. I will tell you that later. Okay, first attempt section C because it is really important to attempt section C and score at least 50 marks out of 100 in this section. Okay, now then you will attempt section B. Why section B not A? Because see, section A is of general aptitude and the questions in general aptitude are such that they look easy. But once you start attempting them, you will find it confusing. But there will be always something inside of you which will be telling you I can do that question. And you will stick with that one question and waste a lot of time. So that's why attempt section B first and section A last. Okay. And see, section B is of 70 marks, which is a lot of marks. And from that, if you are able to score like 30 marks that are a lot see less than half marks you just have to score from this section and then section a and from 30 marks you can easily score 20 marks if you have prepared general aptitude the right way see half marks from this section less than half marks from this section and 20 marks from this section we have a total of 100 marks and normally the cutoff of csn net is 100 marks so see how easy it is to score from this section also you have more than 100 marks to score from you have choice in section c also a choice in section b and also choice in section a so it is not that difficult to score this much okay okay so now let's come to the exact strategy what you have to do exactly see you go to the examination hall you sit there the examination starts now as soon as the examination start skip to section c Okay, and on the paper you get, make a separate column where you will keep track of the questions you are doing, etc, etc. And it is really important. You will think this will waste my time. No, this will save you a lot of time. And some of you might be thinking that there is a way to keep track of the question which you have done, which you have to review in the computer. No, you have to make one column in your own notebook. I found it way faster and easier. See, now as soon as you open section C, you are going to type the first question, right? So write one in that section okay now ask yourself do i know how to solve that question if yes then start solving that question solve that question and if you get a confident answer of that and that is also in the option tick that option and mark tick in that column on your notebook okay now this tick marks that you have done this question and you are not going to look at it again this is simply five marks for you and you are really sure that i will get five marks from this question okay now you went to the second question and you look at that question and think that i have no idea how to solve this question i don't know this concept what they are asking i don't know anything and if something like this comes up in your head 
don't even try to attempt that question okay and it is because you only have to solve like half of the question even from the choice okay so the most important thing in attempting csnet examination is how to rightly pick the questions okay do not like think ah i will try this question no in that examination hall there don't try okay if you are sure do the question solve it tick it done and if you are not sure how to solve that question don't even attempt it it will always waste your time and if you find out some answer and it is wrong you will get negative marking which is really dangerous because you lose that marks of the questions and also there is a negative marking which is really dangerous so we have to avoid that negative marking so don't even attempt the question you don't know how to solve so as soon as you look at the second question and don't know how to solve it mark a cross here and this says that you will never return to this question and you have not even solved this question okay now you went to the third one you said to yourself yeah i know how to solve this one and you tried to solve it but you were not able to get the right answer now here do not start to hustle with the question like i do this i do this do not waste any second when you have gotten the answer and it doesn't seems correct do not hustle with it a lot you just have to do this like dot and circle and this marks that if you get time at the end of the examination you will return to this question and try to solve it so with this like you will solve the paper and and like this you will solve all the paper and now here comes the question of timing how much time you have to give to each section so a rough estimate is this 1 hour 30 minute for section c okay and 1 hour for section b and 30 minutes for section a and this is the rough estimate but i am telling that if you rightly apply this strategy you will never fall short with time because with this strategy you won't be wasting your time with the questions you don't know how to answer okay so the most important thing is that do not waste your time on questions you do not no and that is really really important now what will happen see you did section b and you did section a similar in this fashion there is a column in your solution notebook where it is marked that which question you have completely done which are not done and you won't even look at them and in which you have some confident that if i spend some amount of time in those questions i will be able to solve them if at the end of the examination you still have time okay then always go for those doubtful questions in section c first okay in that same fashion you will go to the doubtful question in section c first then in section b and then in section a because c in section c if somehow you are able to solve that doubtful question and you get the right answer you will get directly 5 marks and for some reason like you were short on time and you are not able to look at those doubtful questions don't worry much and also at the end of the examination i was able to do it so i hope you can also do the tick question that you have done like write their marks and calculate your marks how much marks you are able to get in this examination what i calculated was 137 marks and from that i got 102 point something marks in my csr net examination so in the examination there i was sure that i will be able to crack it because i made a separate column where i had the track of the questions and from that i was able to calculate how much marks i got if there in the examination i saw that these are not much marks and my accuracy is not always 100% it is 80% or 90% right so it will be less than this and i thought that if it is less than this then i won't be able to crack it then in that kind of emergency situation where i need some more marks i will focus more on the doubtful question in the section c to score 5 marks from somewhere which can make me safe so from this strategy you will never waste your time you will always have keep track of your marks and this is a really systematic strategy so this is how you have to attempt csnet examination and lastly i want to tell you is that never ever guess answers your guess will be always wrong like 90% of the time the guesses are wrong because the people who are setting that csnet examination know how your mind works and they have traps for you everywhere in the exam so never ever guess your answer only take those answer to whom you are sure that this is the right 
answer okay and also i want to tell you that some of the question in csnit examination are extremely tough and you can't do them so with this strategy you won't waste time on solving those kinds of really tough questions you have to focus on easy questions and some of the moderate questions and as i have told you in the previous video if you do that you will get your marks higher from the average and you will easily be able to qualify csnet examination so with this the methogenius csnet preparation video series finishes i have told you my story on how i cracked csnet examination a detailed preparation strategy and how to attempt csnet exam so if you are going to give that csnet examination all the best for you after that exam come here back to this video and tell me how much marks you have got and if you have applied this strategy how you modify it etc etc i will be really happy to hear all those responses so thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything